Hello everyone, today we will be covering some student reports that are available in the system for you. We're going to go over to students and student reports. And on this page for the desired class, we're going to look for a report called Document Review New. And this report might not be listed in the same order, but just go ahead and look for that same name there. All right. This report is very helpful for those of you who are using steps for immunization or compliance management, as it will help you track how many of your students have uploaded something, how many are approved, how many have not been yet approved. Um, and this is something that you guys will set up in configuration. So if you go over to your left menu in configuration, you'll see that student module box here, and you set that up in profile required documents, which looks a little like this. You'll set up the items that your students will upload for you um, and set up if you need to review those, assign them, your students will upload those once they set up their profile and you'll use that report available for you here. You'll see that all of the uh, required documents or items are labeled as R1, R2, and so on. You'll see whether it's approved, uploaded, but not approved, and how many have not uploaded. As we scroll through, you will see an icon legend box here that explains what each of those um, icons means. We'll go ahead and keep scrolling here. And you'll see that for each particular student, there is a requirement that you can hover over and see the name of it if you don't remember what it's called. And then you'll see the status of each of those items. So a green check mark means it's approved. A black X means it's not been uploaded. And you can go ahead and take a look at those and see what the status of those are. If you'd like to export any of this information over to Excel, you can do so using that orange button there. Once your uh, students have uploaded all of their documents, if you'd like to keep those documents um, somewhere on your computer for reference or just for safekeeping, you can download those as well. If, let's say, uh, for one particular student, um, I want to go ahead and download all of just those students' uh, documents, you can use that green down uh, facing arrow there to go ahead and download those. If I'd like to manage any of those documents, let's say for this um, particular student here, that's a yellow check mark there. It means that it has um, it is waiting on my approval. I can go ahead and click on that purple check mark here, and that will take me to a pop-up that easily allows me to click here to actually view the physical exam. I can see the expiration date, and if it's approved, I can go ahead and change that status here. If I'd like to approve and lock all of uh, a particular student's documents, I can use the suitcase here, the blue suitcase, to approve all documents for one student. If there is an item that your whole class has um, uploaded and is ready to be approved, you don't want to go one by one on each of the students because you know that has already been reviewed by you in some other way, you can definitely approve all of the items for the entire class using the blue suitcase here at the very top. So that will approve everybody's assignment for that particular requirement. This page does have a second tab. So here over um, on the right hand side, we see this review approved not required document section. So if there are any other items that you have um, added to your list that aren't required, those will be listed here. You'll see how many are uploaded, how many have expired, how many are not uploaded, and then you'll see those statuses. But this doesn't really require your attention as much as the first tab does. Thanks for tuning in.